Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick video showing you how you can replicate the Hillsong upright piano sound that you would have heard on a bunch of recent Hillsong Worship, Hillsong United, and I think even Hillsong Young and Free, they've used uh, this setup as well. Um, what you see in front of you is a picture of the Yamaha U3 that we have in our Hillsong studio, um, in our Sydney studio. Um, but obviously you can see by the photo that uh, we mic up a real piano, it's not a software piano. Um, but for everyone who's inside the box and uh, wanting a great software version of this, uh, I just wanted to do this video for you. Um, so this is a really, really great sample of a Yamaha U3. It's the same model as the piano that we're using in the Hillsong Studio. So if you get this piano, you're going to get really, really close already. Um, and then if you partner it with um, an impulse response from the Hillsong Studio IRs, um, it's going to sound even closer. So um, an impulse response is basically a sample of the reverb of a room. So I went into the Hillsong Studio and created a bunch of different impulse responses, close, medium, far, uh, to sample the room so I could use them in my live setup. Um, you can use these on any acoustic instruments. It just makes them sound alive and like they are obviously recorded in the Hillsong Studio. Um, that's available for a bunch of different sample players, basically any door that I know of um, comes with a convolution player and you just drag and drop them into there. So it'll work for Pro Tools, it'll work for Mainstage, Logic, Ableton. Um, I created Altiverb versions if you own Altiverb. Um, so that's the Hillsong Studio impulse responses. Um, but if you're a complete Worship Bundle user, um, it already comes with one of them in the native and the pro version of the complete worship bundle so you don't have to worry about that so i've got the complete worship bundle 2 pro opened up here and you might not know that this actually comes with a preset for that piano that i just showed you um, the modern upright so i'm just going to go through and give you a few little tricks and tips um, on how to set it up it already comes with a bunch of presets uh, chorus compression you can make it darker and brighter um, but just wanted to show you just a few extra kind of things to think about um, depending on exactly what type of upright piano sound you want. So yeah, here we go. So this is what it's going to sound like by default. If I take off the dark EQ, it's going to be a little bit more nasally. Um, but sometimes I like to um, go kind of in between the dark EQ uh, when I turn the dark EQ on, it adds two um, cuts in the kind of high mids. Um, so if you go and take off this band here, it still cleans it up a little bit, but still gives you that kind of bite and uh, still allows it to cut through. So let's hear that. Um, I like to use a bit more compression, um, so I'm going to turn that on. It just um, adds a more aggressive compressor. If you want it bright, you can turn the bright knob on. And if you add the room, it's actually adding one of those Hillsong Studio impulse responses. So it's going to sound like it was recorded in the Hillsong Studio. So this is with it fully turned up. So I like to have it kind of halfway, maybe just less than halfway to kind of give you that kind of air around the piano as well. Um, a few other little tricks you can do. Um, this compressor is really nice. I've kept it pretty subtle by default, but if you turn this up, it's going to compress a little bit more. This compressor is really nice. It adds, obviously, uh, compression, but also um, slight harmonic distortion, overdrive, whatever you want to call it. Um, makes it sound a little bit bigger and fatter. Um, so you can up that to taste. Um, so yeah, this is what it sounds like now. So I like the upright piano to be a little bit brighter than the album sounds because I want it to cut through live, uh, but I might start it kind of mellow with this low pass filter one and then build it up as the song gets bigger and I want it to cut through even more. So I'll do that. Um, and then I'll show you kind of some other settings for United stuff too. So if you want more of a kind of united sound, I'd maybe make it a little bit duller. You could add a little bit of reverb if you want. Um, a lot of the united albums have chorus added to the piano. So there's a couple of chorus options here. Uh, one's for the micro shift by Sound Toys. The other one's uh, the RC20. Um, but anyway, I'll show you that and show you what you can get for a kind of a more 
ambient, chorusy, upright piano sound. So anyway, just wanted to do that quick little video showing you um, kind of what you can do to get really close to the Hillsong upright piano sound that you would have heard on a bunch of those albums. Hope that helped. So yeah, until next time, uh, thanks for watching.